In this video, we will focus on the computation of propagation delay of an inverter. The result of previous analysis showed us that the resistance of PMOS is greater than the resistance of NMOS. Now, let's see how this unequal resistances affects the rise time and fall time of an inverter. Now, let's look at the circuit that is used for the computation of propagation delay. Note here there are two inverters connected in series okay. and it also shows a capacitor which is not the capacitor that we are going to add but it represents the input capacitance of the second inverter so it's, it's a virtual component. Now let's implement the circuit schematically in cadence and perform transient analysis to evaluate both TPDR and TPDF with respect to the first inverter output node VO1. We will use the inverter schematic and its symbol that was designed during the first experiment. I'm just going to create a new test cell named dynamic inverter. Make sure that you put your cell in your corresponding library. So in my case, my respective library is DICD and I'm just trying to create a test cell for it. So just click OK. Inside the schematic editor, bring your inverters from your library. So in my case, my library is DICD and I'm just going to collect the inverters that I have designed onto the schematic editor. Now apart from this, we also need VPulse for the input and VDC for biasing our inverters and finally we need a ground. So all of these components are taken from analog lib just because these components are non-technological components. Note, this schematic exactly reflects the schematic that was shown during the slide. Now that I'm just going to label the wires in order to ease our identification during our plot. So there is something known as create wire name. Using this, I'm going to label few of the wires for later purpose. So we just define VO1 to define the output wire of the first inverter and VI1 to denote the input of the first inverter. So I'm just going to plug in these two labels onto their respective wires. So once this is done, you can click on chicken save and then launch your ADEL. As I said earlier, the analysis sub window defines the X axis and since we wanted to compute the propagation delay, which is the timing analysis, we choose TRAN from the transient analysis and set the stop time to somewhere around 60 nanosecond. And the output sub window basically defines our Y axis of our plot. And since we want to plot both the input and output of the first inverter, just click on outputs to be plotted, select on schematic and select the wires with respect to first inverter. Press escape and then switch back to your AD window and then click on this play button. Once you get the graph which shows the inverter functionality of your inverter, you can move on to tools, calculator and select the delay function from the function panel. First, let us calculate the TPDF based on our previous objective we know that the input should be rising and the output should be a falling transition. So in regard to the edge number, we will select the edge that is not part of the initial transition. So we just avoid these initial transitions because we are not sure about the initial condition the simulator would have taken during the first simulation. So, so in the case of input being rising, we will select the input to have this as its rising edge. So the edge number that corresponds to this would be number 2. So I'm just going to enter 2 here. For a similar reason, we will select the falling edge which is not part of the first transition but rather the second. So as far as the output is falling, I'm going to select the second edge number and the output is basically making a falling transition. So just click on apply and then click on this evaluate. So make a note of this. Now in order to measure the 
TPDR, the only change that we have to make is to invert the edge types of both the input and the output signals. Say, change this to falling and change the output to rising. Now, in this case, we could choose the first rising edge of the output as well as the first falling edge of the output because these two edges are not part of the initial transitions. So I'll just make those changes or you can even retain the number edge number as two. Just click apply and evaluate the results. So make a note of these two results in your data sheet.